Bardi micro ligation. Micro irrigation method is a way which wetting only part of the soil in the field closes the plant root zone through distribution divots such as orifice nozzle, micro tube, porous pipe, etc. With an applying water either above or under the soil surface. My dear, it is a big category and divided to two subcategories such as drip irrigation and localized drain. Anyway, there are many advances can be achieved by applying micro irrigation methods. Follow up, my dear, it's so clear and easy. The rest of advance is the micro irrigation method. Follow up, my dear. The rest of advance is the micro irrigation method. Take a consideration, my dear, that on the other hand, there are some disadvantages by applying the micro irrigation method, such as The rest of this advance of micro irrigation method follow up my dear. Components of micro irrigation system. It consists mainly of many types of equipment in addition to the pump units such as control head, main line, sub main line, lateral, feeding body feeding hoses, and distributors. Anyway, as we remembered before, Micro irrigation method can be classified into two subcategories such as drip irrigation system and localized drain system as follows. Drip irrigation system is a system which applying water by using a different discharge depending upon the type of distributor. Look my dear, there are many types of distributors which differ in shape, size, components, color, discharge, and is series of operation. Some distributors are normal manufacturing, while others are self-compensated, which can deliver approximately the same discharge over a wide range of pressure, as you see in the enclosed figure. Figure showing components of micro irrigation system. Look, my dear, and get attention to control head, main line, control valve of each block, sub main, laterals, hoses, and distributors. Figure showing the shape of the irrigation system in the field. Figure showing the accessories of micro irrigation polystyrene pipes. Figure showing the rest of accessories of micro irrigation polystyrene pipes. Figure showing different types and shapes of distributors. As you see, E2 by different discharges and multi outlets. Another type of distributors such as Catif, OT, Swapper Tif, and Tastic. Another type of distributors, as you see, my dear, subsurface feeding and dropsy type. Different types of insulation drip distributors, as you see in line distributor. Figure showing the insulation of online distributor. Long path distributor. There are many types of long path distributor as follows. Well. Microtube packet. It is the cheapest and simplest type of distributor because it's just a simple string tube which has 1.5 up to 4 mm inner diameter. Its charge varies as related to the inner diameter, length, temperature, and operating pressure. Generally, the charge of microtube distributors can be kept constant, approximately, for a given inner diameter under various pressure conditions by adjusting its length as it the vertical proportion to its charge. 
three coils is the special type of MEX2 which coils are inserted neatly around the polythene lateral by special off cake connector. Figure showing different types of microtube distributors, as you see, packeting and three coils. Spiral, low range and threaded types. Generally, they are formed from plastic accessories in which is threaded a long narrow passage flowing a little distance charge. The molded inline types are manufactured by the standard distance and the charge in polyethylene 3 lateral. This way, rarely decrease the cost of insertion of the spital in addition that it is more convenient under vegetable planting conditions, where lateral should be gathering at the end of each growing season and re initialed again at the beginning of planting season. There are many types of online distributors taking into consideration the accuracy of selection of the suitable type, which mainly based on its catalog performance indexes supplying by the impact of the child. Figure showing different types of inline and online spiral low range and shredded distributors, as you see. Some flashing distributors also provide a constant charge approximately over a wide range of pressure and known as self-compensating distributors. As at low pressure and either starting up or putting down conditions, the spiral groove and elastic desk are not tightly stated against each other and this allowing water to flow across the flow passages way and causing a flashing action. Figure showing self-compensating long passage reputal. Look my dear and get attention to the flexible dash and spiral pass as you see. All of this reputal. This form is from simple plastic accessories has an just a small hole and its operation is so easy also, as water flow into the spitter from the lateral under pressure. This hydraulic pressure energy is converted to kinetic energy, forming a jet, which is broken and producing the dropping action as calibrated discharge depending upon the operation pressure, diameter and shape of the orifice. These types of spitters are cheap and easy for insertion, but have tendency for clogging as its orifices are so small and for this reason there are special types known as flushing compensating orifice distributor as they have self flushing and cleaning cycle at the beginning and the end of operation. Figure showing orifice distributor type as you see the normal type and self compensating type. Vortex distributors. These types have a wider inner growth relatively to the sample orbit types, and so it has less tendency for blocking. It has a simple device of mechanism as water enters tangency into a cylindrical chamber and forcing into an eccentric wiring moving, which creates an edge and causing a high head loss. Water is then forcing at high velocity to a second orbit in the chamber axis and so the jet is broken and produces the dropping action, as you see in the enclosed figure. Wall cubic distributors. It is a way of using the polyethylene lateral as feeding line and distributors at the same time by perforation this lateral by many ways and devices to get calibrated out best as possible. There are many types of wall cubic distributors as follows. Purest pipes. Plus pipe technology consider a good method for applying water around the roots of the zone of plants and classified as a type of subsurface irrigation method. It is buried up to 0.3 meter depth under the cell surface with the flexible lateral spacing of 1 up to 1.5 meter depending upon the flow rate per given pipe length and soil characteristics as shown in the enclosed figure. Figure showing the sukar for path.
And the following is the intelligent nano education technique, INIT, will give you good results and the set to solve the problems with water terrestri on the block. This method allowing for availability of moisture in the plant food distribution zone through nano hoses with the scale pools less than 40 nano in diameter and about 100,000 holes per square centimeter continually overnight 24 7. This method has many additional advances which you can follow up by yourself, my dear. It is very important. Figure showing nano pores back. Perforated single chamber, the TG perforation polyethylene laterals adjusted on special spaces and discharged to acceptable the several purposes of implantation. Generally, this type considers the cheapest one and updated, preferable to use for addition of some special high density of crops as sugar cane. Moreover, it can be initialed under the soil surface also and leave it all the duration growth period of this crop as illustrated in the enclosed figure. Figure showing before single chamber distributor, as you see, by different spaces in between. Figure showing the tap emitter pulsing water in the field. Twin all dual chamber. Indeed, this type is manufactured to improve and overcome the clocking problem and uniform distribution of water of the single chamber tube. It is formed from both an inner pipe known as supply chamber and an outer pipe known as emission chamber. The supply chamber is fitted with successfully orbits, which are relatively large, ranging between 0.5 up to 0.75 mm diameter and spacing upon 0.5 up to 3.5 m depending on the required Figure showing twin or dual chamber tap look my dear to both the inner chamber and the outer chamber also. Cleaving chamber. This type consists mainly of polystyrene pipe, usually has 20 mm inner diameter with large orifice of about 2 mm diameter while each orifice is surrounded by a special short sleeve for deflection and breaking and levering water jet, converting it to a swift flow by low velocity. The orifices in this type are calibrated and have a high charge of around 60 up to 100 liters per hour, and so it is preferable to use for irrigation of all the water, as you see in the enclosed figure. The second subcategory, localized spraying system, which is known also as micro spraying as spraying water on the soil surface by different ways and shapes, have small wetting diameter to achieve the purpose of plantation. It is mainly using in nurseries, orchard farms and under shrubs in landscaping areas. Generally, there are different types of localized sprayers, have different shapes, discharge, wetting diameter, and moisture patterns such as jet patterns. Prayer, papla, mess, top, many or micro sprinkles, as you see in the enclosed figures. Figure showing different types of spatter, prayers, and micro jets, as you see the spatter in front of you. Figure showing localized prayer. Figure showing localized micro -jet. Figure showing localized mini sprinkler. Figure showing localized mist sprayer.
figure showing a class Z under a tree. Figure showing localized fugal. Percent of wet soil. The percent of wet soil compound to the whole irrigated area is an important item under micro irrigation system. These values depend mainly on the speed of the sharp soil characteristics, spacing between the feeding lines and distributors itself online and duration time of irrigation, as you see in the enclosed figure. Figure showing with its own surface covering shape and percent. Kern Camel have developed a guide for estimating the percent of soil weighted percent P for single, tray equally spaced feeding lines with uniform space distributors in poles, medium and fine texture soil under different discharge of distributors as shown in the enclosed table. Table showing a guide percent soil with its percent P effective by spacing between feeding lines, emission discharge and the recommended emission spaces under different soil texture. Hydraulic characteristics of distributors. There are two types of pressure energy dissipating inside distributors by means of long flow passes or slow orifices. Generally, the charge of distributors can be characterized as shown in the enclosed equation. Follow up by the equation and its perimeter by yourself. It is so easy. Flow through orifice type distributors. For design like this type of orifice, the relation between the different charges under several heads is very important and should be obtained practically in the field. Exponent value A will be equal to 0.5 because the regime will be fully turbulent as its case as shown in the enclosed equation. On the other hand, flow through long path type distributors, it is clear in the enclosed dark with path equation. Follow it, my dear, it is so easy and clear. The rest of that with back equation and its parameters. Follow it, my dear. The rest of that with back equation on flow through long path distributor. A small difference usually occurs during manufacturing operation of distributors. Coefficient of variation is the term which represents this anticipated differentiation on emitter discharge as shown in the closed equation. Usually, coefficient of variation is equal to 2 up to 7% for orifice distributors and 2 up to 10% for long battle distributors types respectively, which should be provided by the manufacturers themselves. What are distribution patterns under distributors? Generally, most distribution patterns in soil profile under distributors comprising three phases such as transition or saturation zone forming a cone area around and other distributor directly, wetting zone forming a pulp shaped area and built up outer and around the previous transition zone, and wetting front with the moisture content would be equal to the initial soil moisture content as shown in the enclosed figure. Figure showing soil moisture patterns in different texture soils. As you see, my dear, a case of heavy texture soil and light texture soil. Follow it, it is a fantastic practical figure. The moisture pattern cone takes different shapes depending mainly on the soil texture. When given the charge applied from a point source, the cone shape that form in heavy texture soil in which the monade force is capillary, is shallow and wider than a case of lighter texture soil, in which the monade force is gravitational and wetting depth of pulp 
will be narrow and more deep than in heavy tectar type. Salt distribution patterns under this filter. Salt accumulation and distribution patterns can be differed widely within the field under the same design as charge of Peter because of the resignation in soil characteristics, quality of irrigation water, and the variability of moisture extraction patterns of different crops. Accordingly, the salt distribution under the filter can be recognized such as shallow accumulated salt pockets surrounding the transition zone depending on the distributed charge, quantity of water applied to irrigation, climate conditions, and soil characteristics. Relative leaching soil cones with a low salt concentration coincidental with the wetting zone. Higher salt accumulation at a deeper depth situated gradual and at about the wetting from and isolated pockets of accumulation salt at the soil surface midway between the distributed lines. Applying a good water management can be achieved a completely control on salt accumulation under drip irrigation system by applying many UVs such as adaptation in high moisture available, less depletion in the upper soil zone area, applying more frequent irrigation to alleviate the possibility of accumulation salts as a result of evaporation processes from the soil surface between irrigation surface, and using an additional quantity of water as a percent in each irrigation, which is known as leaching traction, LF, for leaching the accumulation salt, hence the salt pocket will be far away from the distribution zone, as shown in the enclosed equation. Attention should be taken in consideration also to some specific features as a big danger problem at case of insufficient leaching of salts under the case of rainfall. If rainfall is enough and sufficient to leach the accumulation salt more down below the distribution zone, so no problem in this case would be unexpected. But if the rainfall Depth is not sufficient, operation of systems should be needed to leach the salts out of root distribution zone. Accordingly, the net irrigation requirements and the gross irrigation requirements can be calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. Follow it, my dear, it is so important. Look, my dear, reduction factor referring to the ground cover percentage according to current Carmel equation is shown in front of you. Hence, the charge of the tributal can be calculated as shown in the enclosed equation. Goodbye.